guys, welcome back to CTV Morning Live, the weekend edition. What we are looking at is a Big Daddy's Dabloon. 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 Okay, so tell me uh, what's going on with these guys. These actually um, are based on, again, a New Orleans tradition. If anyone has been down to any of the parades mm -hmm. during parade season or during Mardi Gras itself, these uh, doubloons used to be thrown from the parade floats. They don't throw them anymore because they're very heavy Thank and they could hurt. You um, know when Santa throws the candy canes from, <laughs> from his sleigh in the, in the wintertime? I'm always the one that gets pelted in the head. I mean, I appreciate the candy cane, but not in my face. In actual fact, the different groups that put the parades on in New Orleans actually used to mint a special doubloon oh. for their what they call crew, K-R-E-W-E. And okay. so their crews would have their very own doubloon that mm -hmm. they would mint every year for the Mardi Gras. So Big Daddy's created these. Yep. Go into Big Daddy's prior to Mardi Gras season, pick one up, ask for a doubloon, or they may be handing them out. Mm -hmm. They'll give you one. Bring it in any time. It's worth $5. Mm -hmm. Bring it in on Fat Tuesdays in the month of February. It's worth 10 Wow. So okay. very neat little New Orleans Mardi Gras tradition. So you can collect these leading up to January 31st. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so five bucks, but you can only use one at a time. time. One at a Keep time. Keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> so we have got a lot to show you. We are teaming back up with uh, Kelly Thick, uh, General Manager of Big Daddy's in Baseline. Yeah. What are we making first? Well, we are going to make a drink called Dangerous Liaison. Okay. And it is Dangerous hot. Liaison. Yes. So we're just going to add a little ice okay. into our shaker. And Catherine, and you mentioned, sorry, go on, That's okay. Kelly. No, no. Go ahead. You mentioned there's a bit of an interesting history behind the drink. Well, cocktails in, the, in themselves, and there's a lot of debate as to where cocktails really started, mm -hmm. but up until sort of, you know, the late 1700s, early 1800s, drinks were really beer, cider, wine, mead, those types of things. Cocktails right. didn't really exist. Very so there's simplistic. a lot of debate, and, and there's actually a group in, in uh, New Orleans called Tales of the Cocktail, which celebrate cocktails, mm -hmm. and they believe that cocktails were actually invented in New Orleans, okay. and a number of them actually were. Mm -hmm. So we have a New Orleans-inspired drink menu called Love Potions, and this is uh, one of our Love Potions. Okay, so what are we doing so with the lime I'm just, here? I'm just softening up the lime, okay. just so it can we can squeeze the juice out of it, Okay. because we're putting in I didn't realize fresh, that. squeezed Do you want me to open lime the champagne? juice. I'll grab it for yeah. you. Okay, because we've got last, a... That's going to be the last thing to go in. Okay. So we just want to get our lime juice. We've got our lime juice. Oh, squeeze. No, no, we were talking about this earlier. <laughs> I'm totally that person that shakes it up and then no. blows the cork off of it. And that, in fact, is not how you should be no, opening a bottle No, there's a proper of way of, of uh, opening up a bottle. Okay, we'll so. let you show me okay. in a second. <laughs> and we're just going to add some triple sec. Okay. And some simple syrup. Now, simple syrup is just uh, sugar and water equal parts, and you boil it. Okay. And maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to shake it up. Okay. Get a nice chill on it. And we're just going to strain a little bit into the champagne flute. Oh, we're putting them into flutes. Yes. Okay. Nice. Will there be a garnish? There will not be a garnish. Okay. I'm trying to think gonna... of ways that I can help you here. <laughs> Come on, let we're, me take that. We're going to garnish it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to garnish it with the Prosecco. Okay. <laughs> and that's what this is, the, okay. Giov the Giovello Prosecco. And the proper way to open it is? is hold the cork uh -huh. and twist the bottle. Oh. Nice and slow. So you get a little poof <laughs> okay. and a little bit of smoke. Okay. Now this is where the excitement is because it's going to foam up for you. Oh, is that ever pretty. And what's this called again? This is called uh, Dangerous Liaison. Okay, Dangerous Liaison. So I'm going to oh. give this a... Oh, oh look at that. Good bubbles. So uh, I'll give this a sip because I'm interested to see how to shuck an oyster properly. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you, I've eaten a whole lot of oysters from the Big Daddies, and I really love the sauces. We were mm -hmm. talking about that earlier. But uh, one of the most intriguing things for me when I go is that you actually get to watch the bartender the bar shuck those oysters before you yeah. serve them. And on a busy Friday night, they can shuck over 400 oysters. So it's a busy spot, and you have to be very good at it. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is that. We're just taking our knife and we're putting it into the hinge, yep. which is this part here of the oyster, the, the pointed part, and we just slide it in and then give it a quick turn. Right. And how can you tell, because sometimes oysters aren't, aren't any good, right? They have a, an odor, mm -hmm. and oh, that shell kind of cracked off on me, yeah. uh, but they do give off an odor, um, very, very similar to uh, what a baby's diaper would might smell like, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so if the oyster nice. smells like food, we would and, prefer to refer to it as sulfur. You'll know when they 
<laughs> You'll know when it happens when the bartender takes a match and lights it and then yeah. starts swinging yeah. it in the air. Okay. So. But you know what the best thing is? I've spent a lot of time in Big Daddy's and very, very, uh, uh, very few times have I seen a uh, bartender light a match. So I'm yeah. going to give this oyster a try. And uh, coming up, uh, I had the chance to team up with Indian Trail Carvings to work with some soapstone. And of course, we have your top books, movies, and songs coming up. That's all in a minute on CTV Morning Live.